let's talk a little bit about these new features from Wirecast. And there's one new feature that I'm going to be specifically talking about, and that is the stock photo feature. Let me show you how it works. And I really wanted to set this up here, but we'll, we'll just do a little zoom in. So this is the this is Wirecast 12 on the uh, HP ZBook 360. So to bring in a uh, stock media library, you hit the plus thing. Let's see if I can remember how to do this because it was, it was weird. I thought it was add media file, but that's not the case. It just goes to your folder. So that's not where you go. So we'll hit the plus button here. We go media files. That's right. And we go to stock media library. We'll double click it. Now here's, here's what really... I, I'm reading this, and let me just move this a second here. Warning, stock media library limitations with some destinations. You're about to use stock media to put into your show. And they say that some destinations will employ automated copyright violation detection without a way to declare in advance that you are licensed to utilize the content within the stock media library. What does this mean? This means if you're streaming and you use one of these stock videos, it might pull down your stream. That doesn't make any sense to me. Not one bit. So why should I use this? Now, I think what they're doing is they're trying to figure out those people that do uh, recordings and they record their presentations or something like that. Or maybe they're going for the in-house um, in-house events marketers where they're using a uh, wirecast uh, alongside a tricast or, or alongside another wirecast or another system. Uh, and they're, you know, they want to bring in some stock photos that don't get put out on the interwebs. I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. This is live streaming software. And you're saying that in stock media library might take down your live stream. Now, it might not also. But that's a chance. Do you really want to take that chance, especially if you're setting up something major to use stock media library? No. But, you know, let's go on from here. Let's say, well, we're going to accept the, the terms and hopefully we won't, our streams won't go down. We're going to hit proceed. Now, it comes with a nice interface. And inside this interface, you have a lot of cool video, you have a lot of cool audio, you have a lot of cool photos. This is well, well and good. But, if this is third-party stock material, yeah, you might not be able to use it on your live stream. Once again, what's the point in putting it in live stream software if you can't use it properly? I'm looking at this, and there's some, some cool stuff here. Slow motion falling money where you click on it, and then you can see it on the side here. Uh, and we're just going to play a couple seconds so we don't get nixed or anything like that. We've got a little bit of audio down here. Which, um, you know, and I use, I use uh, audio files all the time. And those audio, you know, and I use a company called Epidemic. Uh, that, so I know that when I use this stuff, it's not, if, if it gets flagged, I can go back in and say, hey, you know, this is, this is all, I'm, I have permission to use all this. And it's through Epidemic Sound. And they just, you know, they, once I say that, they go, oh, but once again, that could ruin a live stream. So a lot of times when I do live stream, I use my own music that I've created. And there's ways to do that. And you don't have to be a musician to create music for your live streams. And I'll talk about that in the future. Uh, I've talked about that on my podcast pros uh, page. But the idea is that, you know, you can, you can, there is true music out there. Now, the one thing that I, that I really want this to have happen is there's a lot of us that are creators out there that get, you know, we create our own video stock footage, we create our own audio stock footage, we create our own photos and stuff like that, and we can actually add to the library. You know, you pay us $20, and we'll add a, add a photo to the library, uh, $50, and we'll add a video to the library. Build your own library that is completely copy. That way, when I use Wirecast, I can use all the stock uh, footage and not feel like I'm going to get dinged, especially when you're doing a live stream. So they have audio, they have video. It's actually pretty cool. And we're, we're going to take, we'll take this uh, graphic right here. 
Blue retro style guaranteeing quality. It's a ping filed image. And what this is, is you then take this and then you kind of uh, crop it down. Although the crop areas are kind of weird. Or is this a, oh, this might be all text. So I might be able to, to put this in and go from there. Let's, uh, let's download it. Let's put it in. Okay, here we go. So this is something that I can edit. Let's go over here. I'm not sure what I'm editing, if there's anything that I can edit here. It's not putting it into the titler at all. It's just, this is interesting. There's no other properties, chroma key, audio properties. So they're, they must've taken this from some site. Because there's no way that I can change this lorem ipsum. And I'm not going to have that like that with lorem ipsum in there. Unless there's a way to uh unless there's a way to do it in the Tyler. Maybe maybe I put this in wrong. So let's let's do this. Let's take this out. And we will delete this shot. And then we're gonna say, let's say, okay, let's do a overlay, let's do a title. And I don't see a way to bring in the stock media stuff. Maybe it's in here already. Let's bring it down a little bit. Don't see it. I'm not sure how that works. And of course, it's it, I haven't really explored it too much. So uh, this is you know this is uh, just within the couple, first couple of days that I've gotten this ZBook and I finally got all the uh, files updated and downloaded so and i just put on wirecast last night and played on a little bit but so but the bottom line is the stock foot stock area and the use of the stock area should be something that's very transparent that says if i got a picture of me like this and you use that picture because it's in the stock library then i sh you should not get dinged when you do a live stream because Wirecast is about live streaming, not live recording. You can live record, and that's great. But I want to stream this. And, I, and even with the recording, I, I take, want to take that recording and then throw that up on YouTube, throw that up on Facebook. So do I get dinged at that point, too? It, it frustrates me because of the fact that I don't know what what they were thinking i mean they should they should just had an open call and say hey your hometown go take pic if you live in las vegas take pictures of las vegas and send them to us and we'll give you a hundred bucks uh you get some video of uh of nashville and you know we'll give you 200 bucks and then build up your library and then give it out there and, and tell musicians hey make some quick quick audio files and then send it to we'll give you a hundred bucks and then they build like a hundred clips and, and stuff like that. And the other thing is I want to be able to add my own stuff to my local system. And that's, that's the other thing that I didn't find in this stock media library area where I could bring in my own stuff. So I don't have to go searching my drives for that same thing. So, uh, so it, it needs some work. It's a great idea. Don't get me wrong. I think it's going to be perfect for when they can finally get rid of that little disclaimer and bring in stock footage that is for that people can use and they could even pay somebody to go around towns and and get stock footage and maybe maybe they already have it and it's like well yeah i'll throw it into your into your library this is a couple years old what the hey 1080p boom there you go 720p boom there you go and create a good library from that and they didn't do it and that's that's a little dis disappointing but as and I'll be when I'm at NAB next month, I will be sitting down and talking with the folks over at Telestream because I want to expand what we're doing. I want to be able to talk more about the other stuff with Telestream as well, because there's a lot of cool stuff at Telestream and uh, and talk about rendezvous and talk about this and that and the other thing and just kind of get it all out there. So. 
What are your thoughts on it? Do you, are you going to use this stock footage or are you going to wait? If, if, if you can't use it during live streaming with fear that it could take down your live stream. I know I'm not going to use it because I don't want my live streams to go down. I can't have my live streams go down. Not for something as trivial as that. So let me know what you think. Uh, geekazine at gmail.com and uh, go from there.